Hi, so today I'm going to talk about how I passed the ASCP. This video was inspired by the other video that I made about the books that uh, helped me prep for the ASCP. So stay tuned, I'm going to cover the things that really I think helped me pass the ASCP. So first of all, strengthen your knowledge. That's really, really important. Pick the right books to study from. Can't stress this enough. Don't waste your time on things that are not going to be able to strengthen your knowledge. So pick the right books. Like for me, so I'm just going to link you up to the video where I covered the things that helped me uh, pass the SCP. There's a whole book list on there and I'm going to put the links down here on this video as well. But of course, please, please, at least just get this one. <laughs> this book will help you with the ASCP exam. Test yourself in here. There's a lot of test questions where you can, you know, test your knowledge if you remember things about, you know, blood bank, heme, chem. Please, pick the right books to review from and study, study, study. With that, I'm going to give you the second tip. Focus on the departments that are heavy on the exam. And these are the main departments that are going to be on there. Hematology, including, of course, calculation, blood bank, uh, chemistry, and the main ones, pretty much. Chemistry and I think I'm missing one. Microbiology, one of the biggest chunks in clinical science. So focus on those five. You know, your analysis, well, it's minor. Immuno, not really much. Um, analyzers, don't think about that too much. But blood bank, oh my gosh, blood bank. A lot of people got blood bank questions. Know your antibody panel. Make sure you know how to do screening. The antibody panel is so yeah, so important. If you don't get it, go to blood bank guy. Blood bank guy will take care of you. Uh, aside from that, there is donor criterias what are the criterias for you to be able to donate blood that's really important oh my god <laughs> but yeah focus your energy on the main branches because there's a ton of questions that they can ask you from those like chemistry the hormones the enzymes liver enzymes uh urobilinogen bilirubin stuff those things are all important thyroid um TSH, those things, yeah, understand them and memorize them. And for micro, I think, you know, you just have to go with this book. This book, it'll tell you everything. I promise you, this is like the simplest, easiest book for micro. And I'm, I'm also gonna link this down below. Please get this. This is the easiest book to study for in microbiology. I love this book. I majored in microbiology in undergrad, so I've had a couple of microbiology courses and books, and this was the best, and not even that expensive. Okay. So let's move on. Third point, make your own flashcards. Make your own questions and test yourself. For blood bank, I made a whole sheet of notes. It doesn't look like this, but it's like a one page with everything in it. I like wrote really, really small. And then I look at it and then I look at myself in the mirror and test myself. That's how I did <laughs> blood bank. Because I struggled the most in blood bank for some reason. Because I loved hematology and I loved micro. It was my undergrad. So I was pretty strong in those departments. And it was chemistry and blood bank in the end that I was struggling in. And chemistry, I kind of understand hormones. So it was kind of okay. But blood bank was completely new to me. I just met it during the internship program. And so it was hard for me to really like memorize and understand the thing so what i did was i wrote everything and tested myself off of those information so you have that retention when you write things and you have even more retention when you ask yourself those things that you wrote okay and another thing for you so i think this is the fourth tip on this video fourth tip don't cram okay don't cram my god you have the whole year and a half to do this make sure that even if you're again even if you're in a different department review on other things to dedicate a day where you test yourself about micro stuff when you're in heme and like dedicate a day when you not just 
like one department test yourself in a lot of things just to refresh and retain that uh, memory of yours of the other things that you need to know aside from where you're at during the internship like you could be interning in him right now study some micro stuff when you have like a downtime just you know a quick skim a quick like wake up call for your brain cells so, hey you don't you should you shouldn't forget that you need to remember these things too if you do crab during the exam day can you can you imagine like putting all of this information in your head two days before the exam that's just not it's not gonna happen nothing's gonna pop up in your head when you take the exam and you cram this this is a lot of information last but not the least we all know that if there's a big occasion the next day you kind of get antsy the day before and it's kind of hard to sleep for me I found it really 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 hard to sleep the day before my exam so what I did was I actually took an expired Benadryl I'm not saying take it no that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is find something that would calm you down before the exam the night before the exam because I have friends that weren't able to sleep and were like really stressed out when they took the exam at least get that seven to eight hours of sleep so that your brain resets and when you go there you're fresh you you can like do anything you feel good you look good you're well rested and you'll be able to smash that exam no problem so again i just have to reiterate that you only need 400 points to get licensed for the ascp i don't know what kind of questions they're gonna ask now it's been two th it's been three years since i took the exam I don't know what kind of questions they're going to ask you anymore. But these are the tips. These are the things that help me pass the ASCP. I have faith in you. I'm pretty sure you will pass it. If you're watching this video, I know you're doing your best. So those are the things that worked for me to prepare for the ASCP and, you know, got me passed through it. If I did, I'm pretty sure you can too. So that's it. Good luck to you. And hopefully, you know, you get through it like me and like all of the other ones that got through it you'll be fine i'm pretty sure about that so if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> i still feel awkward saying this but i just do this for fun but if you like more videos about the ascp and uh reviewing things especially hematology things those sort of things i actually like to talk about let me know comment down below so that's it until next time thank you bye